Hey guys, how are you? It is Monday and it is the week that I go to Spain, which is wild. I leave on Saturday. So in this video, we're just gonna be doing like a bunch of stuff to like get ready, both for like my channel and such, but also for going to worlds, whether that's speed puzzling practice or packing or just in general, trying to like button things up before I go. I'm so excited. Um, so this is going to be a very busy week. I'll definitely take you along throughout it. I'll leave timestamps as always if you want to jump ahead to certain things. Some things may not be puzzle related, but some things may, and it will be really fun. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you like puzzle content, this is a great place to be. I try to switch it up all the time with different videos, and it's all mostly puzzle content, which is awesome. So yeah, let's just get into this. Thank you so much for being here, and I am going to start filming, and we're gonna have a great week. So, ah, I'm so excited. Hello, Oliver. Good morning. Aw, did you just wake up? Yeah. All right, just a couple of things that I got from Amazon today. Um, Loki, hi, good morning. Oh my goodness, hello. A little bit later, I am now in my car about to go see a movie for Mystery Movie Monday. I went out to sushi with Dave. We went to the puzzle library just to like bring things back. I didn't grab anything and I called my mom and now we're here at the movie theater. So I have no idea what the movie is. It's a new release that hasn't been released yet. So it's like a pre-release that we can see beforehand. The catch is though, it's like, you don't know what movie you're gonna see. So it could be a scary movie, which would suck because I do not do well with scary movies. Um, or it could be something really boring, or it could be something really good, we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna head in and have some popcorn juice home because he had to work tomorrow, so he couldn't do this. Um, but I hope it's a good movie. We'll see. I'm gonna help. Yeah. Oh, that's a perfect spot, sir. Thank you, Oliver. All right, I am home from the movies. I ended up seeing my old ass. It was funny in parts, serious in parts. I liked it. I don't know if I'd see it a lot. You know, it be like a repeat one, but it was a good movie. Um, but when I got home, I had a package, which I think is puzzles. So. I thought I would open it up and then tonight I'm going to be doing some editing. So that's my plan. Sorry for the cats. They're wild right now. Um, but let's open this up. I think it's from Cloudberries. Um, just to see what's on here. I totally forgot what I ordered. So let's see. We have something that's very bright and colorful. I think this is one of their smaller piece counts. It is. It's one of their hundred piece puzzles. This one is called Yummies. I haven't tried one of their 100 pieces, but you guys know I love trying smaller piece counts for days when I'm like super flary and my hands hurt and it's hard to puzzle, which honestly is right now. Um, this morning I did a Wentworth, which was perfect because it's like thicker pieces and larger and it's easier for me to grip. So on days that I'm really achy, this is going to be perfect. And it looks like they have massive sizes, which is great. But look how bright this one is so fun and then we have another which is the ingredient puzzle this is the 500 piece they have it in a variety of different piece counts but i requested the smaller piece count and it's so fun i like that it's pretty equal on the puzzle where it's not like a giant section of green or a giant section of blue it's pretty even it may be lean a little bit more on the pink and purple but it's close to 50 50 which i appreciate so I'm excited to do this one. Um, so I'm going to be doing some editing tonight and I'll probably see you back tomorrow.
right, it is much later. I have no idea even what time it is. Hold on, let me turn off the TV. <clears throat> so, I just did three 500 piece puzzles. Um, the first one was the crowd berries, which I loved. And then I did two speed puzzling practices. The first one was, which you probably are sorry, but it's the catnap one from Robin's Burger. It was a larger format and realized I cannot really, I don't have good strategy as far as like piece management with those larger pieces. So not sure if they'll ever do a larger piece count, but you know, preparing. And I ended up getting that one. Oh, I forget the time. It was just over 75 minutes. My goal is kind of 75 minutes for some reason. Um, and then also I ended up doing my finals one, this one here from Nationals. I did that one again and it's been a bit since I've done it and I shaved nine minutes since Nationals. So that's pretty good. Um, so feeling okay, you know, um, I think that's well within the time. I mean, it's not under an hour, which is what a lot of people do to even get to like finals and such. I'm just hoping to not be last. Anyways, I am, I think I'm gonna go watch TV maybe? I don't know. I just did three puzzles. So I'm not sure if I'm wanting to do another one, but we'll see. Look at this box. Oh my goodness. I'm sitting here on the floor and it's massive. This is from Eurographics. I know some of the things that are in here, but I didn't choose the things that they put in here. Hope that makes sense. But let's dive in. Okay, there's a lot of bubble wrap. I'm so excited. So last year or the year before, I really loved their advent calendars where they have like little drawers and it was so much fun. And I noticed they had some new variations this year. So I let them know that I do my advent series and they sent some things over. Some are advent, some are not, but still really cool. So, first up we have <laughs> is an advent calendar. This is the one with the drawers. I think they have two or three new images this year or like set of images this year. Um, and I love the ones with the drawers because you can use it year after year and I just feel like it's extra special. This one here is Christmas Whiskers. So this is the cat advent, which I love. I got the original cat advent from them. So this looks super cute. Oh, this little orange kitty. I'm excited. Oh, it shows all the options on the back. I wish they didn't do that because I wanted to be surprised. So I'm not gonna look at the back, but super fun. And then they gave me this variation, which is huge. So this one is called Christmas Town Fair. And it's one that has the punch outs, but I think the punch outs end up being a little puzzle on their own because you can then arrange them in a Christmas scene. I think that's how it works. Or the puzzles get arranged into a Christmas scene. I think that's how it works. So each puzzle is 50 pieces. And yeah, after it creates this Christmas scene, which is kind of fun. So you're actually building it over time with their individual puzzles on their own. This one has the punch outs, which is always interesting because then you can't really like use it again the next year unless you like bag it up, but I love them. And then we have two items that are brand new to them and I'm so excited. Why not have to do relatively soon because it is a 3D cardboard puzzle. I think it's like patent pending. There is just a whole new concept for them. And it's a lot of pieces, it's 1100 pieces. And this one is a haunted house. <laughs> Look how fun that is. I'll let you guys see, but it's a haunted house. I love this so much. Let me see, on the back side, it shows a little bit of what it looks like putting it together. And it's cardboard. So you have to think like, it's gonna have to have some pretty good Fit? I'm not quite sure. Or are you gluing it at the end? Oh yeah, they have easy glue sheets to fit, fix the puzzle pieces together and hold them together. So this is like a one and done situation. You're gonna build it, 
glue it and then assemble it, which might be kind of fun. So we'll definitely do this. And then we have this one, which is their Christmas house. I love, I love how there's like a extra little piece right here where it's a Christmas tree that's not actually a part of the house. So the building itself looks like the same, but obviously the theming is very, very different. This is so much fun because I love how this can be like home decor afterwards and just like decoration. I'm so excited for these. So I'll link them down below. This isn't sponsored by them or anything. They just sent them over. And oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll... I'm randomly out and about and I'm going to go thrifting. Hopefully we can find a couple things that I can use for speed puzzle practice, but we'll see. Alrighty, I am home. It's a bit later, but let me share with you the things that I got at the thrift store. I got a couple of games and then I got a couple of puzzles. There was a lot of really good puzzles there and you're probably wondering why I didn't pick them up and it's just because I'm really trying to avoid 1000 piece puzzles right now just to do what I currently have. And so I was really looking for smaller piece counts and I came home with a few that I'm excited about. So I don't know if they're really for speed puzzling, <laughs> I was just really intrigued by them. All right, so first up we have is this one by Ibu. It is called Bluebird Yellowbird. Very bright, colorful as always. Very chaotic and busy, but it does look very doable. I have been eyeing this one for a while, so I think this one will be fun. And I love how when it has like the original price sticker, it's like $22, but I only spent five, so I think that is a win. And then I got this one, which is a block puzzle. No idea what the name of it is. I cannot find it other than the artist is Kyle Huber. And so hopefully that helps you out a little bit, but it is this really fun beachy scene. It's really pretty. I love the colors, how it's like half water, half sand, and like the umbrellas. So it looks like it might be a little tricky, but I love this line from them. So I'm excited for that one. I only spent like $2 on that, which was wild. I got this game, which is by Buffalo Games, which is kind of fun. It's called 25 Outlaws, and it's like an old west poker game. I don't know if I can play it with just two people, but you know, we'll give it a shot. And it just looked like it was interesting and something we'd be into. So we'll see how that one goes. I also got this, which I don't have high hopes for it just because there are so many of them at the thrift store. So I'm like, is this a bad game? Is it like really time consuming or confusing? Or maybe it's just boring or I don't know. But for some reason, a lot of people donate it. So I've got one. Maybe we'll like it. But it's called the worst case scenario game. And it's a survival game. I don't know what it's about. It just looks like, like there's a lot to it, which that's the style of game David I usually enjoy. So who knows? We'll see how this one goes, but let me know if you have played it and if it's fun. You know, I thought I might as well try it for the $7 that I paid for it. And then finally, we have this random mystery puzzle. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is a gold box. The brand is called Optimago, and it looks like it is from London, and I think it's a wooden puzzle. Just from like what I can gather, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but on the side, I noticed that it has this one. It's puzzle number five of five. Okay. And it's called 
cottage garden, 500 pieces. And it's not very big, so I have a feeling this is actually a wooden puzzle. Do you want to open it up together? I kind of want to see what it looks like. I don't have scissors or anything, so I'm going to very carefully remove the tape because I'm just curious. I don't have time to do this one right now, but I'm curious to see what's in here. I'm trying to just like lift it up. Can you open it this way? No, I'm going to break it. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I got it. It is wooden. Oh my gosh. And it's not brand new. Someone has used it before, but look at those pieces. It's like plywood. This is really cool. I will have to try this one out when I get home, but it doesn't have an image similar to like a lot of other wooden puzzles. And it looks like, I might be wrong, it looks like it's hand cut. Is that right? There's no burning, so it's not a laser cut puzzle. I got this for $2.99, $2.99, where, <laughs> okay, I'll have to research this a little bit, but what a find. I'm so curious to see what this looks like. Anyways, there is that guy. I'm so excited for that. Anyways, I <sighs> wanna do some speed puzzling. So let's do that. I'm just gonna like, do it on my own just so I can do it and then I'll show you the time afterwards. Guys, I'm so excited. I just got my best time for speed puzzling practice, which it is something that I've done a couple times, so that definitely helped me, but I'm still taking it as a win. My time was 52.09. I think the last one was like 59 something for my fastest time, so that's awesome. Um, but it's one of my favorites. It's Needlework Station, which is the 500 piece, but I loved it. It's so much fun. I love this one so much, but let me show you what it is in case you are new around here and haven't seen one of my favorite puzzles. Here it is. So much fun, so much stuff to work with. I love this one so much. So cool thing is that we live in a farming town where we can go, go blueberry hiking. Bad thing is that we live in a farming town, so sometimes it smells like a farm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We got our buckets. We're walking to the Liberties, which have like a cinnamony flavor. We were able to try one the last time we came here, but they weren't in season yet. And we already eaten all of our other blueberries. One. Very soft. Hmm. Do you want to find a different area? They're very soft. Oh, these are, this one's a good one. All right, it is packing day. Can you believe it? I leave first thing tomorrow morning. Ah! Um, so I'm just packing. I already got my clothes situated. Have half the suitcase still empty. So I plan on bringing a couple puzzles. It also does include like other things I need to bring, but feeling pretty good about my packing situation. Have a set of clothes in my carry-on just in case something happens, you know, knock on wood. But I leave first thing tomorrow. I leave at 5 a.m very busy travel day um, a lot of probably just hurry up and wait you know where i'm going to leave at 5 a.m we have a layover in charlotte and then i'll be in madrid at 6 a.m the next day so we'll see how this all goes i'm excited i am traveling with a friend which is great so i'm not going to be by myself haven't flown internationally since i was like 15 so <laughs> Uh, that will be just really exciting and it's going to be such a fun trip. So I actually think I am going to sign off here. I'm just going to finish up packing and I have some other things that I need to do today, like filming and editing and trying to get things all buttoned up before I leave. So hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, stay tuned for my travel vlog where I go to Spain to go to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships, which is absolutely wild. I'm just excited to go to meet people and have fun and have puzzle friend interactions and it's just going to be a fantastic trip so of course I'm going to bring you along for the ride so that's it for me thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys